Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This week we have a beginner's lesson and it's suggested by Joshua Ferguson. Hola, Hola Joshua. Joshua. And Joshua wants us to talk about the word and and or and how it changes sometimes from sí. y and from o sí. to something else. Sí. Entonces, vamos a hablar de todo eso en la segunda parte. ¿Qué tal, Cintia? Muy bien. Hablamos en inglés, hablamos en español. En inglés. Es, es ah, en inglés. Para villenes, ¿no? Ok. Pero quería preguntarte, ah. ¿qué, tal, ¿qué tal estás? Yo estoy estupendamente bien. ¿Sí? Sí, estoy fenomenal. Hace, hace sol. ¿Verdad? ¿Hace calor? Hace calor, sí. Eh, estamos en verano. ¿Verdad? Los sí. pájaros cantan. Sí, sí. ¿Tú cómo estás? Eh, eh, yo también estoy muy, muy bien. Muy bien, muy bien. Estamos morenos. Sí, un poco, morenos. Un poco, sí, sí, yo un poco más que tú. Eh, más? Eh, tenemos mucho calor, porque ya hace mucho calor sí. durante a mediodía, pero abajo tenemos una máquina, ¿verdad? Sí. Que echa, echa aire. Aire, aire frío. Aire fresquito. Uf. Es un milagro. Muy, muy. Eh, algo muy importante que tener en España, una máquina o un ventilador. Y los dos perros se ponen justo enfrente de la máquina. Go figure. Clever no? dogs. Sí. <laughs> so, vale. what we're going we're, we're gonna to talk about the word and and then or. So, and in Spanish, as you will know, is y with a y. However, Cynthia, sometimes it morphs, doesn't it? It changes. Morphs, yeah. And why? What makes it change? It changes sometimes to an e. E. Eh. It does. Yeah? It does. What has to happen? So, it's purely because of sound. Mm -hmm. Okay? Do you know in English, when you have the a, that can turn, that can turn into an an? For example, a dog, an orange. Yeah. Yeah, you don't say a orange. Uh-huh. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So we have the same uh -huh. with um, the conjunciones, conjunción, conjunction? How do mm -hmm. you say conjunción? Conjunction. <laughs> I'll write here properly. Las conjunciones y and o. Uh -huh. So e, you will use e with all the consonants, I mean the, the following word, all the consonants and all the vowels except for anything that starts with an i mm -hmm. or an hi uh -huh. because it makes the same sound yeah. so sound e not to have ee -E. uh -huh. yeah 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 to get that e -E sound exactly yeah. so mm -hmm. if the following word starts with a c or with an s or with an a the y okay we use the y e But if it starts, the following word starts with a, with an I or with an H-I, then we turn the Y into an E. So like it will be an E for you. I often see that e. with, on, on the sides of trucks or in, on buildings where it's got and sons. You know, somebody, yeah. Um, e hijos. Uh -huh. E hijos. Yeah. Padres e hijos, not padres y hijos. We don't like the e So we say e, padres e hijos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we change mm -hmm. the y for an e. Yeah, yeah. Muy bien. Mm -hmm. Or something that starts with an i. Mm -hmm. um, for example, um, ellos viven en casas e iglus, for example. <laughs> I was thinking of exactly the I same word. I was thinking of, thinking of exactly the same word, iglus. Um, uh -huh. Vaqueros okay. e indios. So cowboys and... Los indios, ¿cómo se llama? Indians. Llaman? Indians. Mm. Mm -hmm. So okay. that will be the one for the Y. Yeah. And then the same thing happens with the... And then the, the same ha the thing happens... O. Yeah. Exactly. With O. So we would have the O. And that can change into an U. When the following word starts with O or with H-O. Mm -hmm. So okay. mujer... U hombre. U hombre. Eh, 
Cuba u Honduras, mm -hmm. for example. Um, o with o no sé. Um, estómago u ombligo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something about these two little changes. Um, they catch still catch me out. Sometimes I catch myself using an e e or an o o. Okay, so don't think that it's you know because you know it everything's going to flow beautifully. It takes a while because basically you've got to know what the next word is that you're going to say, and sometimes you don't. Sometimes you don't. Yeah. So sometimes you, you kind of and and you'll hear Spanish people as well who who don't know what the next word is that they're going to say. They'll use an e, e and then they might correct it, and so yes. eh. Because then they work out that it's the next word that's going to have an E sound, yeah? Exactly. Mm. I mean, apart from things that are said like padres e hijos, it's like a fixed thing, expression. Yeah. When you're talking and you don't know exactly what you, how you're going to word it, word it or how you're going to say it, lots of times, I mean, we all do in our own language. You start saying something and then you backtrack and then you want to say it another way. So, of course, you can just you know, change as you go because mm. we don't talk all in a perfect way like when you read in, in books. There is no perfect talking, no. is there really? Yeah. We, we cut ourselves, we change what we were going to say, we say something different then or in another way, so, you know. Yeah, I mean, we, so, we've been transcribing conversations for the last 10 years and, and they're a mess. When you transcribe conversations, then you realise how, well, not badly, but how, how we really talk and we make lots of mistakes. Yeah. Not, I mean, not us, everybody. But we do. Like you start saying something and then you change it mm -hmm. and then somebody interrupts as well and then, then that's it and then or talk, two people talk at the same time. So when they, it's not like perfect grammar like you see in books or when you read something perfect. It doesn't yeah. work that way in conversation. Yeah. And we do the same, for example, what, what I've heard is somebody will say, S, 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 A, because they don't know what it was, that the, the name. Yeah, so, yeah or el, la flauta. Yeah. Or, el, or la, because eh, you don't know what you're going to say, or you were going to say something and then you said it yeah. in a different way. And and we do the same with the, 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 um, the, the, the end. You know, so we, we obviously based on what we're going to say as well, because yeah. we have to change the, yeah, that's, the, that's the right. to a the, yeah. Because we, we're thinking as we, we're we talking as well, mm -hmm. so we change it. Mm -hmm. So that, that's fine. I mean, nobody's going to say it. And we, sometimes we make the mistake as well. We say E, and then the next word starts with an E as well, E sound. But in books, you're going to see that. In books, in books, in, in yes. books invariably, it'll be correct. It's rare that you would ever get somebody not, not writing it For books, you've got time to think. You've mm -hmm. got time to write, correct yourself. Yeah. Write it in another way. Mm -hmm. You know, it's different. You've got time mm -hmm. in your hands. Yeah. When you're talking, it's life, isn't it? Exactly. That's it. Exactly. <laughs> Pues muy bien, muy bien. Muy bien. bien. Muchas gracias, Joshua, gracias, Joshua, por la sugerencia. Y por favor... Eh, queremos más sugerencias eh? sí. Remember that mucho. those that have joined the channel they get preference as well in the for their suggestions Sure, absolutely If you, uh, What's the first uh, level of the... Seguida sí Seguida sí Seguida sí And if you join with Charlemos then you can have the live with us the live chats mm. Exactly So what we'll do is let's just have a voice come in and now, a word from our sponsor. Muchas gracias, Vika, <laughs> por ese, esa voz tan brusa. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're not going to speak. We're just going to leave you a little snippet of the live lessons that uh, we do every two weeks on a, on a Monday. We do two sessions and just give you a snippet of flavor of, of what they're like. And if you want, if you're interested, all you do is go to YouTube, I'll leave the link in the video, and you just join Charlemos, and then each week you'll get, each two weeks we'll tell you when they're coming and you can join us, okay? Muy bien, Gordon. Pues muy bien. Entonces, so we'll leave you with, with a, a snippet, ¿vale? ¿Cómo se dice a snippet? Con un, un trozo, un cacho, un... Un cacho. Una, una, sí, una parte, mm -hmm. no sé, algo así. Sí, me suena. Sí. 
Vale, entonces, eso es todo. Hasta luego. Adiós. Nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Oh, bueno, ¿qué hora, ¿qué hora es allí? Que parece de noche. Uh, sí, en, um, en Melbourne está 7, 8 en la noche. Ah. Vale, es que justo estaba diciendo eso. Estaba preguntando <risa> si eh, había alguien de... Si éramos todos del Reino Unido o si había alguien de Australia o por allí, digo, porque será por la tarde, sí, pues justo. Y también están en, en pleno invierno. Claro, ahora, y estáis ¿no? en invierno. Yes. Sorry, Cynthia, I've just cut you off. <laughs> Perdóname. Nada, nada. The system we're going to use is this. I'm going to do the English and Cynthia's going to speak in Spanish. Okay, so you've got, so I'll be helping for, you know, if you don't catch what, what Cynthia's saying, then we'll review that in, in English as well. Sí. Eso es. Vale, pues entonces, el tema de hoy eh, viene de, de una sugerencia de Stephen y quiere hablar de, pues, de los adjetivos cuando usamos los adjetivos antes y después de, de un nombre, sobre todo adjetivos como grande o viejo, nuevo, mal, mala, etc. Entonces, um, so let's just clarify that. Okay. Then, so what Cynthia is saying is that when, when the the with nuevo, nueva, when it's in its normal position, it means new, brand new. I think we would say, would we not? Sí, brand, like, new. brand new. Yeah. When we put it before, then it's it starts. It's new to the person. It's new to the person. Así que que tengáis una fantástica semana. El viernes. Eh, pondremos el vídeo sí. eh, para que lo podáis ver si queréis o revisar o lo que sea estar ahí para vosotros y nada, feliz semana y nos vamos y nos vemos ¿Eh? a ver, no, no nos vamos y nos vemos Joder, claro, al sí. revés claro sí, es es que que lo he dicho yo hoy me has confundido totalmente Cintia nos vemos, vale. hasta luego chicos hasta luego. adiós hasta luego.